Let's get over to the counter where we give you our best bets of the week. I believe you have six plays. I've got five. You know, on the season, I'm 31, 37-31, up 2.67 units on the year. CD is 31-20, up 0.21 units. So positive in the best bets, positive in the dirty dogs. Yeah, we're we're looking pretty good on the season, so hoping to keep this momentum going for me. I've had a couple winning weeks in a row, and let's let's make it a third winning week. So, And for you, you've been doing really well <laughs> basically since the uh, month of October, so you're looking to bounce back after a two-and-two two week. So I guess I'll let you start because you've got six plays here. Let's see what you got. Yeah, we already talked. We already previewed in, in depth uh, Ohio at Toledo. I like this one. I can get it at plus three. I will take it. Ohio plus three. I think they're the better football team. Yeah, let's go. Enough said. I'm going to – I like that, by the way. I'm going to take the bait here. This team I don't think should be an underdog, but they're on the road. Illinois is plus one and a half against Rutgers, and I'm going to take the bait. It is a gigantic trap game. Are you on it as well? Yeah, we are, baby. Let's go. Because I'm staring at this. I'm like, Ugh. This is the biggest trap game line I have ever seen, and I am going to be hooked and sink. I'm taking it. Taking the bait. Illinois plus one and a half. Feed me against Rutgers. Yeah, I'm on that too for all the reasons you said. I think Rutgers, you know, while they've been playing better football, I think they caught Minnesota at a bad time, and they beat a bad Maryland team. Illinois throwing the football last week gave me a lot of confidence to take this game. And if you can protect, you know, against this Rutgers front, they're going to have a lot of success there in East Rutherford. Let me go to the SEC here. Texas minus 20 and a half. Mm. Listen, I know I I have not trusted Texas all year long. I have not. But I'm ready to buy in. I think defensively, this is what makes me feel good. I think Texas has the star power, power offensively to move the football. I think at home, this is a good spot here. I think they know, Sark knows, by the way, huge look ahead spot. I think the culture there is super, super sound. I think they're in a spot where they're going to go out and dominate. And by the way, they should need style points. I'm going to say it. They should need style points because, in my opinion, you lose to A&M. You do not have an SEC championship game or appearance on your resume. I don't believe you should get in unless crazy stuff happens behind you. But they are way too high right now for me. But maybe the committee knows something. And so let's go Texas minus 20 and a half. That's not crazy at all. I'm going to go over to the Big 12 in the Big 12 game of the year. Arizona State, we talked about a minus three and a half. Not going to think about it. They're just playing good football. Kenny Dillingham and the boys and Brian Ward are absolutely buzzing. Feed it to me. I love that. I love that. Give me USC minus four and a half at UCLA. I know UCLA is playing good I football, but I USC got a, a big time win last week. Showed a lot of resilience over the bye week. I think they need this win more than UCLA does, and you're going to see it in the way they play. Minus four and a half USC. Yeah, this seems yeah, like I like value. that. Mayava looked good. Well, I, I think people will disagree with that. Like they how ran the good ball. he actually looked. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I, I I like that. Even though UCLA's been playing good, I like that. I'll I'll lay it. Giant line, Boise State in the Mountain West playing against Wyoming in Laramie. I know Laramie is a tough place to play, but is that just? a greater incentive for them to give Ash and Genty the ball more times? Uh, I say yes. When you're averaging 7.7 yards per carry and you go to elevation where it's difficult to throw the football with a lot of wind, if Genty's going to get 35 touches, feed me, boys, you say minus 22 half, because Lord knows Wyoming isn't going to do anything. It doesn't matter what defense they're playing against. That Wyoming offense is garbage. And their run defense, by the way, they're giving up like almost six yards of carry on the season. It's pretty atrocious. So, the boys say minus 22 and a half. Uh, proceed with caution is all I'll say. We have a couple rules on the show. And I won't go through all of them, but one of them is Mike Gundy. Don't bet against Mike Gundy. And the other one's one of the other ones is don't bet against Wyoming in Laramie. Here's the thing, though. Mike Gundy has been on the downtrend, right? And, and Oklahoma State has been very bettable against. And so... Maybe this one, this one's broken this year too. So regardless, I, I hope you win. But best of luck going into Laramie and getting a win there. Uh, I'll go to the Big Twelve here. A game we also previewed: Colorado minus three against Kansas. I know you're on the other side of that. Not necessarily a best bet, but you feel like Kansas got a good chance to win that game, and absolutely they do. Again, I said it before. I still think Colorado is the best team in, in the Big Twelve. 
I think they have a chance here. Their eyes are huge right now. And looking at that Big 12 championship game, they know how important this win is. Colorado minus three. And I think they run up the score a little bit. And then you put Kansas in a spot where they have to throw the football, be uncomfortable. And that's where Daniels can potentially make some mistakes. And you can really, you know, make sure the backdoor cover is not in play. Yeah, I like it. Uh, let me go over to the CUSA. Western Kentucky is playing against Liberty. They're one-point favorites. I know that they dropped an abysmal one last week to Louisiana Tech. Just abysmal. But I am not sold on this Liberty football team being good at all. I still think this Western Kentucky team is good for CUSA Sanders. I still believe in Caden Beldham. I still believe in Elijah Young. I still believe in Dalvin Smith and whatever, whatever – the, the Motley crew that they got there on, on that offensive side of the football. Give me Western Kentucky minus one. I know they're going on the road, but come on. Come on, boys. Yeah, they probably had the most impressive win in in the, the CUSA beating Sam Houston State, right, kind of handily, putting up their own points like they did. Yeah, I, I don't think that's crazy at all. Um, my last one here, Notre Dame minus 14 in the game we previewed against, against Army, neutral site there up in the Bronx. Love Listen, it. I think Notre Dame it, it like I'm not gonna make the same mistake again that I did with Navy and not betting that game. I think not that Army's the same team as Navy, but I, I think Notre Dame will be able to handle them in a similar way. Yeah, I love that. I love that. I was almost on it, but I just it's hard to justify gobbling those lines against military schools, but I, I really do like that a lot. I stayed away from it though, betting it, but I was with you on it in the game previews. Uh my last one. Mississippi State plus eight against a Missouri team. I know. I know. It's scary. Mississippi State, scary. Missouri looked better last week than they have, you know, pretty much all season. I get it. I get the fears. But, like, Mississippi State, they've struggled in SEC play, and I know people are going to be like, oh, what another SEC homer or whatever. I mean, it. It was a brutal schedule that they had to play, dude. Their SEC schedule is brutal. It is Texas A&M. It is Georgia. It is uh, Texas. It is Tennessee on the road. You know, and that Arkansas, I guess, is pretty good as well. So, I mean, I guess you dodged. You still got to play Ole Miss, too, by the way. I guess the big one that you dodged was Alabama. You know, but, like, other than that, you you basically hit all the big ones, you know. And, uh while they haven't looked very competitive in a ton of SEC football games this year, I think Missouri at going to Stark Vegas, I think Van Buren can can do some magic there if you just keep it within the touchdown, right? But I'm getting at plus eight, so I, I like it there. Give me Mississippi State plus eight, playing Missouri in Stark Vegas. That's not crazy at all. We, as we talked about it, if that game was you know at 10 here, that'd be on my, my dirty dogs for sure. Um, listen, my last one, not, I'm not, it's not in yet at all, but this is our plug, my plug to, to follow us on, on Twitter at the red shirt soft. If this line does drop to seven or below seven, LS, Vandy at LSU night game, uh, it's at seven and a half right now. So just keep an eye out for that. Make sure you are following us on Twitter at the red shirt soft. I'll say it again, turn on post notifications, all that good stuff. And yeah, we'll, we'll get that out to you if it does, if it does come our favor.